Hello everybody, this is Emma, and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future the game. I'm standing here with a beautiful girl named Trixie. Let's talk to, to her. all who approach these hallowed halls. What's cooking? Ideas, up here. Okay. How's kids' trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, <laughs> something I heard once. So no regrets about turning them in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with them in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I didn't get that either. So, Artie's working for the Expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. Yeah. Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Pete's me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. Clown? What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety muck at the expo. He's in charge of all the money and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me, and super respectable too. It's a real relief for him to have a job where the boss never pulls a gun on him. It's good to see that you and Artie are both doing okay. Oh, we're more than okay. And if things keep going the way they're going, we may be more than just friends before you know it. <laughs> well, don't get too serious too fast. Nah, we're keeping things casual, for now. Good. I'm sure Grandma will appreciate that. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. Yeah. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Okay. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Okay. You must have slept through that class. Yeah. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So, you work for the Expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? Mm -hmm. You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. Mm -hmm. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. No. See you, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. Okay. I guess I will not be a stranger. Whatever. We'll talk to Artie. Hey, Artie. Officer. Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Okay. So what do we do? Um, maybe Doc can help us? Maybe the dog can help us. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you huh? need any help? <laughs> uh, so, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Lie. Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Why would she believe me? She said she knows you inside and out. Then you'll have to resort to skullduggery. You've done it before. You ought to be getting good at it by now. Yeah, I guess I am. I suggested a little scheme to Trixie, but I don't know if she's going to go along with it. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please... Don't tell me the details. Okay. Um, so what do we do then? Um, let's see. I didn't mean to do that. 
I did mean to do that. Okay. Okay. That should work. No, I didn't do that. There we go. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Callahan? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Good point. Oh, these people are impossible. You are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could <laughs> get her know. discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... His invention. Ours. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's you so all the questions me. I got. Very well. <clears throat> you tell me, boy. How about you? Girl. Have you got any questions for me? Whatever. Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I'm afraid I can't, until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! You're absurd. <sighs> Whatever. What's cooking? Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. Yeah. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Okay. Uh, we can't do see anything Trixie. here yet. Don't be a stranger. So, let's see. Very happy about Trixie's new job. Arrange to have Edna and Trixie get Trixie fired, okay? Cue ball. Okay. Well, oh, there it is. Not, not the not truck. Not as nice as my truck back in '86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in '86. Okay. Not the not freaking as nice truck. As my truck back in '86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in '86. Cue ball, thank you. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. I wouldn't be, uh, surprised. You seem kinda angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and now to see her flouncing around the place, making like a stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? Why do you have green teeth? So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Last year, 
I drove a train off a cliff. Why'd you do that? You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. It's a <laughs> long story. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Oh, wow. Hey, Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No, no kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Oh, nice. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was wondering that. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing. I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? What? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the Audi, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Okay. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. <laughs> I know. You might want to take a look at this. Sorry about that. I'd, I'd be interested, interested in... Oh, oh what, what have we, we here? Oh, oh sir, Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You are firing me? Aw. I don't want to. Aw. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Aw. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Um, but we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to uh, tune in uh, tomorrow for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.